Greetings, friends. This is serious news. The Internal Revenue Service has just unveiled a major change for millions of Americans. The tax agency will be waiving one billion dollars in penalty fees, providing direct relief for many taxpayers. Officials say the changes will go into effect immediately. My dear friends, please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these changes. Also, this coming Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway, friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dearish friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Everything we do here should come back to the dignity of work. The idea that hard work should pay off for everyone, no matter who you are, no matter where you live, no matter what kind of work you do. When work has dignity, people have good jobs with a secure retirement. They can count on Medicare. They can count on Social Security to be there for them. It's why we, two years ago, saved the pension of 100,000 Ohioans who worked their whole lives to earn a pension in the peace of mind in retirement. It's why we're still fighting for Delphi retirees who lost their pensions through no fault of their own. It's why we'll all, we will always, always fight back against attacks on Social Security. Making sure that all Americans have secure retirement shouldn't be a partisan issue. Social Security and Medicare are two of the most popular and unifying institutions in the country. Social Security is our government's promise to working men and women, a promise that they will, will in fact be able to retire with dignity. Support for Social Security cuts across party lines, geographic lines, racial lines. Americans want not only to protect Social Security and Medicare, they want to make it stronger. Martin O'Malley, whom we confirmed last night, understands this. The commissioner, he'll make sure that Social Security Administration is accessible and responsive. He'll ensure we're keeping this bedrock promise to the American people. We need to do our part, Mr. President, in this body too. It means passing my Social Security Fairness Act to repeal restrictions from two old laws that are preventing more than three million Americans, about, a, about 250,000 people in my state alone, including Ohio law enforcement, from receiving the Social Security, benef Security benefits they earn. Ohio first responders put their lives on the line to protect our communities. They paid into Social Security just like everyone else. All these Ohio workers are asking for is what they've earned. That is the dignity of, of a secure retirement. We need to pass my bill to reform the supplemental security income, so-called so, so SSIs, programs, outdated restrictions that punish people for working and saving, prevent 8 million Americans with disabilities from building a better life for themselves. Hasn't changed in 40 years. We should update it. These Americans have even one dollar, if they have even one dollar more than $2,000 in their savings account or 3,000 for married couples, all their, not very high, frankly, all their social SSI benefits are taken away. With these outdated rules, there's no way to save for an emergency or plan for the future or in essence have agency over your own life. There's broad support for this. It's not partisan. It's not ideological. When I asked the CEOs, the committee I chair, the Banking and Housing Committee, I asked the CEOs of the eight largest banks if they supported this change. Every single one of them said yes. Every single one endorsed my bill. The big banks and I don't agree on much of anything, but we do agree on this. By passing our bipartisan bill to update this outdated program, we also can fix the root cause of the SSI overpayments and clawbacks that have been hitting too many Ohioans. The time is, time, this has gone on for far too long hurt too many Ohioans who, again, through no fault of their own, have been forced to deal with the issue of overpayments because of SSA's outdated policy. The Internal Revenue Service has said it is going to waive penalty fees for individuals who fail to pay back taxes. That total is less than $100,000 per year for tax years 2020 and 2021. The agency has confirmed that nearly 5 million Americans 
businesses, and tax-exempt organizations. Most making under $400,000 per year will be eligible for this relief starting this week. This will total approximately $1 billion starting in February 2022. The IRS temporarily suspended mailing automatic reminders to pay overdue tax bills during the crisis. Agency leadership says the pause in automated reminders is a reason behind this decision to forgive the failure to pay penalties, the agency said in a recent statement. Due to the effects of the crisis, these reminders would have normally been issued as a follow-up after the initial notice. Although these reminder notices were suspended, the failure to pay penalty continues to accrue for taxpayers who did not fully pay their bills in response to the initial balance due notice. IRS officials have noted that while the agency plans to resume sending out normal collection notices, the announcement is meant as one-time relief based on the interruption caused by the crisis. IRS Commissioner Danny Werfel told reporters that the agency had to take extraordinary steps. He said the change will be automatic for many taxpayers and will not require additional action. Taxpayers are eligible for automatic relief if they filed a tax return for tax years 2020 or 2021 owe less than $100,000 per year in back taxes and received an initial balance due notice between February 5, 2022 and December 7, 2023. During a call with reporters, Werfel stated that if people paid the failure to pay penalty, they will get a refund. There is a federal tax credit of up to $7,500 for electric vehicles. Thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act, But ever since the electric vehicle tax credit was announced, there have been some confusion over everything from the electric vehicle tax credit income limit to which cars do or do not qualify for the tax break. Some changes are coming on January 1st for the 2024 electric vehicle tax credit that you need to know. If you want to purchase an electric vehicle, these changes include both good and not great news for some consumers. As of New Year's Day, the first change is that fewer vehicles will be eligible for the full $7,500 electric vehicle tax credit. That is due to stricter rules for qualifying vehicles that kick in for 2024. There are other tax changes happening next year if you collect Social Security you will receive a 3.2% cost of living adjustment in 2024. And since the 1st of January falls on a holiday, you can expect to receive your first increased SSI payment at the end of December. Also, the IRS announced a series of other increases to popular tax credits and deductions for 2024. This is including a higher maximum for the Earned Income Tax Credit, adjustments to the gift tax exclusion, and an increase to the Foreign Earned Income Exclusion. The Internal Revenue Service has not announced an official filing date for those who like to get an early start on submitting their tax returns. However, the window usually opens in late January. Taxpayers who file electronically and are due a refund can expect it within 21 days if they choose direct deposit and there are no issues with their tax return. Well, my magnificent and most marvelous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Thank you, dear friends, for being part of this community. This coming Friday and every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, Please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you so much and have a wonderful and very blessed week.